Now as you've probably been able to tell, I love my Turkic Nomads of the Steppes. This is exactly why I'll be starting a series on the often neglected Mighty Steppe Empires, considering my Khazar video was my most popular by far. So I thought it'd be fitting to start with the Empire that originated the concept of a Turk. <laughs> Now let's begin in the mid-500s. In the steppes of Northern Asia, we see the dominant power being the Roran Cognate. The ruling class here was of a proto-Mongolic people who subjugated the Turkic peoples, forcing them into a lower class, where they'd supply the ruling elite with their skills in blacksmithing and horse breeding. These people were the first to adopt the title of Khagan and Khan among steppe peoples. Now a Khagan is a leader who rules over lesser Khans, who were essentially chieftains. The Khan of the Turks was Buman Khan, who independently suppressed a large-scale tribal revolt against the Roaring Khagan. Following this act of loyalty, he sent his Khagan an emissary, requesting a wife so that he could join the royal family. This to him would surely be fitting in return for accomplishing such a tremendous task with his own devices. Instead, the Khagan would respond with a degrading message, telling him, You are my blacksmith slave. How dare you utter such words? Little did the Khagan know, Buman would turn the name Turk into a forever respected title, ubiquitous throughout the steppes. Buman's rage upon reading this was in legendary proportions. A demon had been released on the world. He killed the messenger himself, then cut off all relations and allegiance to the royal incognate. Bowman utilized the tool just as useful as the sword to any great leader, diplomacy. He allied with the Western Chinese, the rival of the Roran, then, with the newfound help, decisively defeated the Kagni. Bowman would declare himself Kagan of the first ever Turkic Kagni, or as it would be known to Turkic speakers, the God Turks, or Blue Sky Turks. This would be the origin and the popularization of the name Turk, as these people would expand in all directions. Bowman's successors would conquer vast amounts of territory, amounting to one of the largest empires in history in less than 30 years. Their triumph would straddle from Manchuria to Crimea as these steppe nomads with their famed horses Turkicized the regions of Western China and Central Asia. Thus began the Great Turkic Migration, which would continue long past the Gok Turk Cognate's devastating civil war, which would separate it into two rival cognates. Their everlasting flag would contain a green dog head defacing a blue background, representing the eternal sky of the steppes. Dogs were a sacred symbol of the Turkic Mongolic peoples, then and even today. Turks believe they all descended from a female werewolf from China, and that all dogs are truly the most revered animal. Well, I could go on all day about Turkology, but I'll have to save it for the next episode of this series. As you can tell, I'll have a lot on this topic coming in the future.